It's now to a Bay Area professor who can't afford a place to live and is sleeping most nights in her car. KPX 5's Len Ramirez is live at San Jose State with her story tonight. Len? Well, Veronica, tenured professors, those that have been professors for a long time, tend to make a comfortable living, but new professors are certainly struggling. And we spoke to one uh, today who certainly has sit and has given up on trying to afford rent. California. Ellen Tara James Penny is an adjunct professor at San Jose State. She teaches four classes of English 1A and has a bachelor's and master's degree. But she can't afford a place to live in the South Bay, and so on most nights, she sleeps in her car. With what I make at San Jose State, I can't pay $2,000 a month rent. Can't do it. She takes home about 2500 a month. Her usual routine is nearly constant motion. After classes, she parks in libraries or Walmart parking lots where she grades papers. And I go sit somewhere until it's dark and then sneak into a neighborhood, park the car and go to sleep. She says when people find out her situation, they are shocked. There's a stereotype and that stereotype is drug addict, alcoholic, Lazy. Not everybody uh, is in a, a position where their jobs pay them enough to keep up. Glenn Peterson calls it the changing face of homelessness. When his agency started helping the homeless 60 years ago, clients tended to be mostly men with those stereotypical addictions. Not anymore. Folks in this situation are working right alongside us. Uh, could be the next cubicle. It could be someone teaching your child. Ellen used to be an admin in high tech, but was laid off in the dot com bust, and she went through her savings. She went back to school. And and paid tuition with student loans. And I'm $143,000 in debt, and I'm in my 50s, but I pay that loan every month. She's also supporting her husband, who's unemployed, and their two dogs. I fight to stay positive in my thinking, doing my job, caring about my students, but it wears on me. She keeps her car neat and belongings are minimal to avoid being detected. But deep in her roof rack is a cast iron frying pan she doesn't use, at least for now. I hold on to this because it's the hope that someday I'll have a home again. Now, Ellen, her husband, and two dogs all fit into her car. They fold the seat backs to give them more room, and they've accepted that this is pretty much their lifestyle until their income substantially changes. Reporting live in San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.